have one more example left, and that's secure blockchain. And so, you know, if you walked into a regular bank and you said to the person in the bank, hey, where's the vault? And he said, oh, I bought this wallet on Amazon. It's very expensive. I store all the money in the bank in that vault. Or, and then you said, well, I'm going to give you all of my secure papers, my passport and my driver's license. Where are you going to secure them? And the guy said, I'm going to keep them in the same place, on the same cloud. I don't think you would do business with that bank. But in general today, most people buying cryptocurrency do exactly this. Most of the providers of big cryptocurrencies use cloud services that we use. They use the same technology for my wallet that they use for the bank's wallet. And they keep your identification in the same place that they keep the money. Now, blockchain itself, this is one thing that we need to point out, as a static piece of data is secure. There's no problem with the public blockchain and the security of a static blockchain. The issue is getting things onto the blockchain. Every time I do an operation, I need to add something to the blockchain. And in this case, I need my private key. And my private key is used to put things on the blockchain. The private key of blockchain is extremely vulnerable. If a hacker steals that private key, that hacker becomes you. And they can steal every single one of your assets instantaneously. They can transfer all of your money to their, to their account in a matter of seconds. And it's very, very hard to get it back. And while blockchain operations need to be approved and verified, again, if these verifications and approvals are done in a non-secure environment, then they themselves can be hacked. And so the, the, this whole process is, is many locations where it can be hacked. And again, our platform comes into case where the blockchain wallets are stored inside the vault. The blockchain keys are stored inside the vault. All of the smart contracts which govern the execution of certain transactions are executed and verified inside the vault. The policies of the approvers of the blockchain transactions are also done inside the vault. And all of these transactions are logged automatically inside the vault. And so in this case, getting the data onto the blockchain is done just to, in a very secure environment, increasing the um, increasing the, confid the confidence that uh, people can have in storing their uh, money.